Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. A thousand pardons. So sorry. I've got a bit of stage fright. A little dodge courage over the bloom in your cheek. Tarties are superior. 
pay them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. 
I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Fresh air might do me good. Then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I think. And yet, here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Anoint him with the oil of gladness already. I want my money. How he bumbles about. <laughs> Pathetic.
pulls him out. <laughs> that is. Already, I want my money. Finish the hottie goodie. <laughs> Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. <laughs> Please, Pat, call this off. If the captain sees the us, hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills! Who started you on, anyway? Anoint him with the oil of glass! We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway! These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. 